Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Time Spitters 2 with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, well, we started off the story in Siberia in 1990. We, as Cortez, headed back to try and uh, get back the time crystals from the Time Spitters. And again, I'm saying time a lot. I think that's going to be a recurring theme in this Let's Play. Anyway, so uh, we did that and we stopped the evil zombies <laughs> in Siberia. And now it's time to um, yeah head back to 1932 in Chicago. Let's have a look. As per usual, this is going to be on normal. Alright, 1932, Chicago downtown. Big Tony's operations have got a little out of hand. Uh, his mob isn't content with running bootleg liquor. Um, a word on the street is Tony has knocked off a shipment of priceless gemstones and he's bringing his brother in to expand operations. Uh, do, 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 do. It's down to us, Jack Fenton. Jake Fenton, even. <laughs> um, Tony's hiding out in the Sunrise Club, an exclusive speakeasy. His goons don't like strangers. Um, but Marco the Snitch should be able to help you out. Oh, good. We always love a good snitch. Let's get started. <sighs> Chicago. And I've had a belly full of it. Everyone's on the take. The DA, City Hall, even the cops on the beat. Being paid to turn a blind eye. But me? Nah, I couldn't. So I got out. It's all down to Mr. Big. He's cost me everything. So tonight I send him a message. And boy, will he take the bait. What am I worried about? It's not me that's got to tell the boss. And Francis can handle himself. Yeah, he can look after himself. What? Huh? He's back in town. <laughs> what? He's back and he's looking for you. Oh! <laughs> Reese's! Come on, you stupid! I want that son of a. I want him dead, you hear me? Dead! Dead. Yeah, we'll see about that. But from now on, Big, you better watch the shadows, because I'm taking you down. Okay then, so as you can see, we are Detective Jake Fenton after Big Tony. Is Big Tony not quite Fat Tony yet? He'll get to Fat Tony eventually, or we'll kill him. Either way. So we start out with, what did we get? A sniper rifle and just a regular old, what was that, silence pistol? Silence Luger. Okay, so we can try and take out some of these guys from this window here. Try and be a little bit stealthy like the last level. Okay, one guy I know stands still for a while. Where is he? Oh. It's not you. There's another one. I'm not going to get caught by the by the alarm. There is an alarm. Oh, there you are. Right. Go, 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 go. Damn window in the way. Okay, excellent. All right. That's probably got the attention of the other guy. Otherwise, he's very, very deaf. He's very, very deaf. And now he's very, very dead. So, there should be one more guy coming around about there. Oh, maybe we've got away so well that it hasn't heard any of that. Okay then, well we'll just head on down. I'll try and land on top of this uh, crate here and grab that sniper ammo. Good. Yeah, that guy just has not turned up. So yeah, here we are. We're in downtown Chicago with the Mafia. And um, let's have a quick look at the objectives before we start properly. So we have uh, drain the whiskey barrels, which is, you think it sounds like a side objective, but no, it's a main one. Uh, rendezvous with informant, uh, the snitch, Marco, and obtain nightclub password, blah blah blah, eliminate Big Tony, yeah, and then obviously get back time crystal. Alright, let's get started then, and I think we can get started straight away on one of those objectives, because over here, there you go, oh, there's a guy, no wait, over there is a whiskey barrel, and the way you destroy these, or drain them, is... Mm. By shooting them. Who would have thought? Now you can. This is a cool thing about these. Okay, it's not that cool, but it's slightly interesting. You can shoot them at the top. They start draining. But eventually they stop because it actually thinks of it as holding the liquid. So you have to shoot it at the bottom for all of it to drain. A kind of really weird attention to detail there. See, it's noticed it stopped pouring out the top. There you go. 
and eventually that will drain out and we'll get one there you go so we've got three whiskey barrels remaining and you know why we're doing this well because it's prohibition of course uh, when did that come in I learned about prohibition in school blimey that was um was it uh, 1919 it was like first drafted maybe I know we're, we must be right on the very end of it because I think it was repealed in 33 I might be getting my dates completely messed up I'm pretty sure that's right though okay oh and there's another one right there so these two are quite close together but they are spread throughout the whole mission uh, let's do a few more so it'll drain faster there you go so yeah we're going to encounter lots oh yeah lots and lots oh you little son of a turn off <laughs> I'm getting shot a lot here we're going to encounter lots of um of, of the mafia and they have they're actually quite tough they have quite um powerful weapons compared to the first level it does get quite hairy in some parts this level all right let's get on well actually we do get a better weapon in a minute so that's all right oh look at this place though oh we were in Felucci brothers import export estimated 1907 oh yeah now let's go answer that phone because it's bugging me Thank you, text, for trying to keep up. So, Marco, meet him at the newsstand. Uh, that's only kind of just around the corner. But that guy over there is a bad guy we need to shoot. That guy right there, he's not a bad guy. He's just a civilian. And another objective, a secondary one, minimise civilian casualties. If you kill five people, then you failed that objective. So, don't kill the innocents. You keep on moving, good sir. You, not so much, because you've got a nice Tommy gun. Oh! That I want and we're gonna use straight away this guy there we go so that was a very very quick objective to come up on the screen there but we prevented Tony's brother from escaping and the good thing is to do well to do with that one is to stay in front of the car because there's a there's a nasty um gunner in the back seat who will shoot you out the back window so if you stay in front of it you don't lose as much health or any in fact I think I did pretty well for that okay so Marco's just over there that's him way over there uh, we're gonna go in here and get one more whiskey barrel uh, 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 there you go I mean we can't as much as it nice it would be to kind of drink that like Barney off the Simpsons slurping it off the floor it's illegal it's illegal we can't Right, one left, good. Now, oh look, there's O'Leary's. It's actually a pretty cool place in there, but we'll go in there in just a second. Let's go meet up with Marco. How you doing, Snitchy? Looks like there's trouble brewing in O'Leary's. You better check it out before we go in there. <laughs> Why Iola? That's so... Oh my god. Why Iola? That's got to be accompanied with an angry fist shake. Why Iola? Okay, so stuff is going down in here. You can go in there and shoot them, or you can just let them kill each other until some of them sneak out. Okay. Why, Ayala? Let's go have a little peek in there. Oh yeah, things are going on. So much so, he's just ran straight past me. Thank you, good sir. You you shoot your uh, your enemies right there. I will just have a little bit of. No, maybe I won't. Maybe I can steal some money. Yes, I actually do. Oh god, I can do that. Alright, now's time to pay attention. Let's get the Tommy gun back. Have I got any ammo for it? Probably not. Or have. Then mow you lot down. Excellent. I have a feeling that's not it. Ooh, no it's not. Now I do apologise if this level's a little bit dark in places, but it's supposed to be dark. It's supposed to be moody and atmospheric and uh, noir, film noir-like. If only it was in black and white. Uh, but yeah, it might be a bit dark in some areas. Okay, so the place is clear. We can go back to Marco just over there. But I want to show you this first because this is just, again, just more stupid attention to detail. But you see this pool table right here? Or is this snooker? I think this is snooker, this one. Um, you can actually... <laughs> you can play a bit of snooker. Ready? Oh, yeah. Try and line it up. Ooh. Yes. 
Why am I doing this for? I'm supposed to be killing Big Tony, but I'm too busy being good at this. Oh, damn it. <gasps> Come on, do the rebound shot. Oh. Oh, what a shot. I've started now, so I might as well finish. <laughs> and why do they Why do they even do this for? It's so random. I think they did this again in Future Perfect in the mansion of... Um, uh, what's that bloody level called? Mansion of Madness level. I think there's a snooker or a pool table in there as well. That you can hit the... Um, you can even pick up the pool, uh, the pool balls, the pool balls, the snooker balls, in their future perfect. I think with your little uh, wrist thing. Okay, all done. There you go. Oh great! Protect him. It's turned into an escort mission. Just a little one though. Okay, don't do that. Where did he go? You're fine. Calm down. There you go. Get out the fetal position. Okay, now you're not. Hang on. Hmm, that's weird. Usually he goes to check that side first. Which he should have because there's people coming out there and killing him. You're a snitch, man. You've got to be more careful around this place. Marco. Eh. <laughs> oh, hang on. There's a guy up there. Okay, good. Actually, there's loads of guys around here. There's a guy back there. Let me kill him. You know, Marco is not taking his time. Oh, sorry, he is taking his time. He's not, not in any rush to get away from the fire. No, no. In fact, he goes all the way around here and then turns to go up here. You know how to walk, guy? You can just go like that. No? No, that's too easy for you, apparently. And now you're getting shot again. Don't do that. Okay, good. Right. You'll need a pass to get into the Sunrise Club. Tony keeps a spare with his safe. Thank you, Marco. And then you disappear into the abyss. <laughs> you stare into the abyss. Marco stares back. So, we need to pick up the TNT on the table. It's not explicitly, explicitly said to do that, but you do have to. It is necessary to get the uh, nightclub pass. And this mission is actually a lot, lot, lot shorter in easy mode because you get the pass off of Marco then and you can go straight to the Sunrise Club. But with normal difficulty, you have to go and get the pass yourself, which involves going in here and killing lots of people again. Lots of people. And getting their armor. Right, so there's one more whiskey barrel, the last one to get. I just want to make sure it does it, because when I played this mission before, it, it kind of glitched out and didn't register that I drained it. So come on. There we go. Drain the whiskey barrels complete. Good. Oh, one more thing. Barrels, not barrels, crates in Time Splitters are always explosive. Yes, they may just be bits of wood, but they are always, always explosive. Just to, just bear that in mind. You know, actually, we could use that later on in a, in a, a later level. Maybe. I'll show you. Okay, so we need to work our way up this stairwell. That was terrible aiming. Let's just let the auto-aim do it for me. This is a nice room, isn't it? Mm. Mm, no time to sleep, though. Must murder. Gotta uh, whack some kneecaps with bullets. In fact, I think there's some... Yeah, good. Body armor hidden underneath that bed. Okay. This guy is really appreciating his sniper there. Grab some... <laughs> poor guy. Uh, grab some um, sniper ammo as well by doing that. That right there is a, is a bigger guy. He has a little bit more health than the other dweebs. But yeah, he's like the butch guy. Braces. He's like braces out of the cutscene. Okay, so... Uh, now we're... Oh, get the shotgun. Ooh! Double barrel. Now we're here, the pass is in the safe, and that's why we needed the TNT to do that. Oh yeah. And inside, lots of money and a card, but we don't pick up the money, just the card. And again, phones ringing in our ears. Fine, what do you want? This better not be someone trying to sell me PPI insurance claims. Hey, it's Marco. Find a window and check outside. There's some guys out to get you. 
Oh no, it's just Marco again. Thank you, Marco. He's just trying to look out for us, to be honest. Okay. So, uh, yep, we need to head down to some windows and just do a little bit of sniping. I don't think we have to do this. Is this an objective? I don't think it is, to be honest. Oh, we killed two civilians already. Whoops, I don't think we did that. I think they probably got in the way of the people shooting. Okay, so we need to... Oh, there's one. We need to get some sniping done. That didn't seem to work. That did. I think if you're crouching, sometimes the hitboxes of the uh, the window get caught a little bit. Although I'm not entirely sure about that. Sometimes it... Oh, you had a nice moustache there, sir. Sometimes it doesn't quite shoot right. Okay, good. I think there are some more guys, but screw it. We'll just shoot them down there. Um, so one thing I did want to bring up quickly is uh, the cutscene. I was just saying about braces in the cutscene. But one thing I really like about the animation in this game is just how fluid it is. Um, okay, they're, they're pre-rendered cutscenes, of course. But the way they animated the, the characters, they're, they're so smooth and have such life to them. For a game that came out in 2002, they do such a good job. And along with their sort of cartoony style they have going. Um, yeah, the, the cutscenes are always really, really good to watch. So go back and have a look and see what I mean. And the facial expressions as well, they have some really good facial expressions, they're not just like, flat faces. You're a, you're a civilian, okay. You're not. Alright. But yeah. Uh, and the fact that each mission has its own little self-contained story is uh, is really good actually. Crap, 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 crap. I'm going to get shot a lot here. There are guys all over the place. Sniping me from every angle. But yeah, you'll notice that, that each story, each uh, level has its own little story with it. So in this case, it's uh, it's Big Tony. But we can now go see, thanks to having the card. There we are. Before we can um, actually get through that gate. And we've got a checkpoint as well, so even better. I think I just killed your twin. I believe so. Alright, so now we're into Big Tony's. Ristorante Italiano. Established since 1922, does that say? Alright, so we haven't got much health here. I've got to be a bit careful. Let's make our way to him. Members only. Yeah. Okay, I think there's a bit of armour here, which we do desperately need. Thank you. Right, let's go. This is just run and gun. Get everything now. In fact, let's get the shotgun out. Why not? Actually, having said that, we now just got the Tommy gun times two. So let's use that, because it's stupidly overpowered. You'll see this against the boss in a minute, and how quickly we can take him down. There he is, there's Big Tony, and... There he's not. We got the time crystal. Let's get the hell out of here. Whew! Oh man. Um, yeah, so as you can tell, again, another very short uh, boss fight there. Not too not too tough, that big Tony. What a shame. Um, this is all, but I forgot to show this last episode, but this is all just the extra objectives and stuff that we did, and we did all of it. How about that? So, I'm going to uh, head to the main menu. Okay, so we unlocked uh, big Tony. There you go. We just killed him, but we've just unlocked him as well. And so that was uh, Chicago, 1932. Not one of my not my favourite level, I'll be honest, but I do like the music and I um I like the characters as well. Big Tony's pretty cool. But uh yeah, we did it. Jake Fenton, we defeated him. And soon alcohol will be legal, so all is well. Uh next up is a Notre Dame in eighteen ninety five, and we'll be doing that next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.